Welcome back to Endless Ocean. First Endless Ocean episode of the new year. And with me today is, in fact, Hulkamat. A collective groan from the audience. Oh, come now, come now. <laughs> You're too modest, Hulkamat. And Catherine says that if we fall in the water, she, in fact, will not save us. She should throw those things in after you, at least. Uh, uh, you know, a funny thing. I said the same thing to Red while I was getting ready to do this, and apparently they're not used for rescuing people. What? Yeah, uh, there's something to do with like seeing how fast the boat is moving, like you toss it back, or how fast the water is moving, the waves. And you can toss it back and then see how far it moves in a certain amount of time, and also for finding out where someone could have drifted off to. Apparently they're not very good for saving people. I thought they were just tubes that you like put your body through. <laughs> No, apparently not. They, they Apparently they don't float for shit if a person actually is in them. Wow. I, I know, I was surprised as hell too. Uh, it was, you know, Of course, then you have to wonder why they have four of them on this boat. And probably because they look cool. Nautical theme, kinda. I don't know. Anyways, we're looking for the humpback whale so we can finish our whale study. I'm... I'm not sure how she's going to use the location of all these whales to figure out where the ancient mother is, but... Well, I don't know what the hell she's even thinking. She kind of speaks, and I just kind of go like, uh-huh, what? All right. I think she's going to put a bunch of pins on like a, like a chart of the zone and like attach a string between them. Like, ah, <laughs> there's an X formed in the center. Clearly, this is where she'll be. Makes she's perfect full of sense. shit. She doesn't know what she's going to do. Oh, she has no idea, but that doesn't matter. Clearly, the Ancient Mother wants us to find her. We're on a divine mission. We're from on, on a mission from God. It's like the Blues Brothers, except we're scuba diving. <laughs> I'm a soul scuba diver. <laughs> Instead of saving an orphanage, you know, we're just finding a whale. Hammerheads, they're cool. Yeah. <laughs> you finally admit it. It's the least interesting, you hammerhead. So it should be around here somewhere. I'm not sure how a humpback would be hiding in this trench, but... It should be around here somewhere. Just one big... Big big nothing. There's nothing here. Oh, there, there's a shark there. There's fish around, just mostly fish we've seen before. No ghost ships. Maybe when she said, you know, oh, well, I'm in the wrong area partially, but maybe when she said that the humpback whale, she meant like the humpback flounder whale. Maybe we keep on swimming over the humpback. Maybe this humpback is a master of camouflage. There could be stranger things. I, I, I think it's kind of hard to camouflage a giant fucking whale. Well, it, it's all a matter of perspective. If a whale looks like a giant lump of coral, I mean, a whale is a giant lump of fat and barnacles and mites and stuff. I mean, it's and a coral's a giant lump of rock and microscopic animal colonies and fish. I mean. You know what, it's... It, maybe. You can kind of th conceptualize it. I'm sure there's some fantasy novel universe out there with giant flounder whales. <laughs> I don't know, sir. <laughs> I'm sure it exists somewhere. Some weirdo's got a fantasy novel about this kind of thing, and there's elves, like, riding it. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> there's elves riding everything. You can conceive of anything and an elf will ride it.
Where is this whale? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, this is a humpback whale. A rather large baleen whale. And we're going to ride it. Normally can't do this in real life. Why? What happens? Shoots you with a gun. Anyways, Red is going to tell us a little bit about them. The humpback whale, Megaptera nova anglia, is a large baleen whale found throughout the world's ocean. Once critically endangered, they now number at least 80,000. Fuck yeah, humpbacks. Keep on fucking. Humpback whales are the whales most known for their songs. If you bought one of those goddamn New Age whale song CDs, these are the whales you're most likely hearing. While both genders make noises, only the males sing the long, complex songs. Humpbacks can sing continuously for 24 hours. They do this by forcing air through their nasal cavities, as whales do not have vocal cords. Whales in different parts of the ocean sing different songs, they sing different songs at different times of the year. Why they sing these songs is not completely known. You know what, I'm, I'm realizing that I've said that a lot in every one of these goddamn whale segments. We, we don't know shit about whales, let's be frank. I don't know why they sing, I don't know why they have spermaceti. They are mysterious, mysterious animals, and I am sick of this shit. God, where was I? Another habit humpbacks have is creating bubble nets to feed. A group of whales will swim in an increasingly small circle around a school of fish, exhaling slightly to release bubbles. As the cylinder of bubbles tightens smaller and smaller, more whales will dive deeper to drive more fish into the cylinder. Finally, the whales swim upwards through the bubble net, jaws agape, and swallow as many little trapped fuckers as they can. Or they just stun them with their fins and tails. Either way. Um, interesting fact about this whale, um... Uh... I, I got nothing. No giant testicles, no sperm in the head. I, I have nothing. Fuck. Thank you for that, Red. He, he did a good job talking about them whales. That he did. <laughs> While he ran out of things to say about the humpback, I have a few things I can say about it. While they're rather vocal and talkative, they seldom form long-term pods. They'll group temporarily for a few hours at a time, but then they'll just go there on their own, like, go separate ways. Uh, we're not really sure why they do that. They just, they tend to like to stick it on their own, I guess. Of course, the fact that they can talk over the entire ocean because they're so loud really doesn't make it matter that much. Obnoxious little fellows. They're not obnoxious, it's beautiful. <laughs> Two fish trying to talk, it's like, Rrr! Just talking <laughs> over everything. Well, it's beautiful. It, it's a beautiful song. It, it's then again, their singing can. We're not really sure what their singing actually means. Like if some theories are that it's like males trying to call out to females, or it's possibly males challenging other males, or it might be different groups communicating with each other to say, "We're over here." Well, we're over here. Well, we're over here. 
and they have the same song, and they kind of change it over time slowly. They vary it a little bit. Here's the Bowmouth Guitar Fish. Oh, that's the fish that is rocking. In the Japanese version, would actually break the game if you put like a certain number of them into the aquarium. It would erase all of your memory. Ooh. I, I'm not sure why that would happen. Something to do with the dimension reality warping power of the guitar fish, I guess. Huh. Another fun fact about the humpback is that when the first people to attempt sustainable whaling of the humpback was John Smith of Pocahontas fame. Oh, yeah, the guy who married the girl. Yeah, except he didn't really do that in real life. <laughs> Yeah, Disney fucked us again. They're unrealistic stories and twisting shit to make it more happy-go-lucky. Damn you, Disney. The fox and the hound die. <laughs> let's, let's just crush everyone's dreams right now. fox <laughs> and the hound gets shot. Yeah, in the original, yeah. Oh, oh, a lot of this stuff. They adapt stories that end and have like really tragic, terrible endings. Like, the original version of The Hunchback of Notre Dame ends with everybody dying. What? Yeah, it's like Quasimodo dies, Esmeralda dies. I watched that movie once. I don't remember any of the characters. You only watched that movie once? Don't you remember Tony J singing all evil-like? I remember it, and I remember people saying this song's incredible, but I didn't. I didn't really think so. Wow. As far as I'm concerned, it's no Hakuna Matata. <laughs> well, it's kind of a little different thing. One's like some guy basically saying he wants someone to burn in hell. Now everyone's like, ah, it don't matter. Whatever. Means no worries, buddy. It's kind of different sort of tone songs. That map's almost filled out. Well, it's, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh -oh. We have new mail. Let's go read that mail. That's the ghosts. I hope it's not the ghost. Yoinks! Fucking shaggy. <laughs> yeah. Our, our platter, our Chinese platter has been uh, finally checked out. Awesome, you can put some Chinese food on it. Uh, I don't think you tend to put food on antiques like that. Especially <laughs> underwater antiques. Hey, that's what they were made for. <laughs> it belongs in a museum. And we got a gift from it for finding it, so he emailed us an anemone suit. So, we're gonna go put that on. That way, if anything tries to mess with us, we'll sting them with our dangerous stinging cells. Ooh. Look at that gear. It's cheek. Someone needs to send you new hair. Tiny little penguin. Aww. Aww. It's a little penguin. The smallest penguin. The, wow, that's a... Holy shit! What happened? I don't know. Maybe she dumped a bunch of fish everywhere on board. <laughs> she, had... <laughs> she just throws fish just everywhere on top. Just tosses them everywhere. So, yeah, we have an emperor penguin, which is the largest penguin, next to a, the little penguin, which is the smallest penguin. As long as it's not the Gintaro penguin. <laughs> no. I, I dislike that penguin. <laughs> and here's a little African penguin, which is about the same size as the little penguin <laughs> in the game. So. I thought they said Jew. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Hulkamad. This is the Jew penguin. <laughs> How was your Hanukkah, Hulkamad? Um, or your Juchanika? <laughs> very average. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. There's a lot of fucking penguins on board. Yeah, it's a little penguin party. A little tuxedo, classy arrangement. Black tie affair. Checking everyone just to make sure there's not a different species. Yeah, just making sure I got everything covered. Just saying hello to all the guests, you know. Catherine's gonna pop around later to offer them drinks and fish. It's a nice little <laughs> cod. But don't go overboard because she can't swim. Well, well, yeah. She doesn't care if the penguins fall overboard. The penguins are just going to leave that way eventually. And she's still also saying that she will let us die if we fall off. What a bitch. I don't know. We, she needs us for that whole great 
mother shenanigans. Well. Let's see, we're gonna go after our last whale that we need to find, which is somewhere up here, in the big region that we have yet to actually look at. The last region we've really yet to explore. Ooh. It's more of the same, really, to be honest, though. It's kind of an extension off of other areas we've been before. But I'm gonna try to arrange it so we can see some areas we haven't been to before, at least. But I didn't particularly care for that boat placement. I'm going to try a different one. Right here. That looks like a good one. That's a good placement. Mm-hmm. And we'll bring Skippy with. Well, he can't take anybody else. Well, there there is nobody else. Mr. I'm going to find a new partner very soon. Unlike video three. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I did kind of say that. I did kind of lie there. Uh, there are <laughs> two partners I will be getting eventually, but unfortunately this game does limit you to three partners at any one time. That's something that they change in Endless Ocean 2 where they just say you can have every partner you could ever want at all times. You, you can't bring them all with you at all times. That'd be a bit silly. But you can basically unlock all the partners. But in this one, you only get three. So I'm going to get three special ones. Well, I have the one. I'm going to get two special ones later. I'm not going to say what they are, though, because, as I said, they are special, and we have to actually do something to unlock them. So you can craft in your mind what possible porpoise-like animals we have not encountered yet and could be encountering later. Well, who knows? It could be anything, given how weird this game gets. Uh, oh, oh, look at those. Those look different. No, we went there before, don't you remember? That's where uh, me and Red found the dwarf sawfish. Oh, yeah. And, and he talked about the IUCN classification system. Oh, yeah. That was a thing that happened. That was a thing that happened. Yes. Here's a treasure. Ooh. Skippy pointed out. Too late. Oh, fuck. Oop. Excellent exited out. Oh boy, I'm gonna make another compass with this. I hope it's on our compass. <laughs> nah. It's a bronze mirror fragment. Eventually we'll use it to blind our enemies. Sounds like a plan. It's the only way I can ever beat the light temple. <laughs> beat Twin Rova. God damn it. <laughs> of course, Twin Rova in this game is actually a pair of octopuses. They still ride broomsticks, though, so it's okay. <laughs> it's the light water temple. Red, you know what you're drawing next. <laughs> <laughs> He's just suddenly felt a psychic emanation from miles away, like, my god, I need to draw a Twin Rova as octopi. <laughs> his hand just starts lurching over to his pad like, I must do it, I can't resist. <laughs> I like that fish. Highly poisonous, though. <laughs> they are pretty as hell fish, though. A lot of people do like to keep them in aquariums because they are so pretty. They look different. Oh well, yeah, they've got spines everywhere. They, Them looking different is kind of their way of letting everybody know, like, hey... You remember me. I'm the poisonous one that will kill you. Don't you even <laughs> try, Frun. Frun, you say. Nobody's gonna mess with that. It was either that or I start talking like some pseudo New Jersey accent like it's a fucking mafia fish. Hey, you don't wanna fuck with me. <laughs> what was that? I'll put you six feet under the water. What was that accent? That, that, that was my terrible New Jersey slack slash Italian accent. Red's gonna shoot me with a gun because he is Italian. Oi, don't be messing with me. That, that what What is that supposed to be? That's nothing. <laughs> Oi, mate, don't be messing with me. Everything comes back to Ringo Starr with you. What is with you and Ringo Starr slash John F. Kennedy? That's Charles Darwin. Thank you very much. 
Why do you think Ringo Starr and John Kennedy sound the same? Well, I, uh... I'm not even gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, just, just stop. Indeed, it is the blue whale. And Red is going to tell us a little bit about it. Blue whale, Melanoptera musculus, is the largest known animal ever to have existed. Uh, shit. What else? What else about this whale? Um, uh, it's mostly just big. Like, like flat out, that's really about it. It's a gigantic fucking animal. Okay, do you see this thing going on behind me? This, this is the goddamn size of this whale. It, it's a one-to-one -one scale model of this whale. You are seeing the size of this whale in real time. Look, look at it. You have, you have no fucking idea how big this thing is. It, it's that big. It's big. It's bigger than big. Like, we're talking Krakens and Dreadnoughts for jewelry big. It's big. Despite this, the largest thing you can eat is probably like a cantaloupe or something. It mostly eats krill. That's all it fucking eats. Just krill. Just a lot of fucking krill. It, just look at it. It's big. It's a big whale. That is everything special about this whale. It is a big animal. I mean, even in game, they show it smaller than it should be to scale. It's very small in the game. It's a big goddamn whale. Just look at it. It's slowly going by. This whale is just going by. Oh my god, is it still going by? Yes, it's still going by. This thing is that big. It's a big whale. Like, I've said that several times at this point, but that that's it. It's a big, big whale. Like, strap yourself in, because this whale's going to be going by for a long time. Like, no, it's going by a long time. You're going to see this entire whale. Like, no, I'm sure you wanted some facts or something about this thing. It's big. That's it. It's big. Its heart weighs like 600 kilograms. It's big. It's just big. That's it. It's fucking big. I mean, look at this shit. It's still going. This thing is still going! I bet I could put 90% of life on this planet, it would have already scrolled past by now at this size. But no, it's still going. This thing is still fucking going. This fucking tongue weighs 2.7 metric tons. That's a lot. It's a big, fat, heavy whale. It's big. A newborn blue whale weighs the same as an adult hippopotamus. That's big. It's a big whale, and it's still going by. Look at this shit, it's still going by. Like, these things are so big, whalers didn't even fuck with them. They were just too goddamn big to deal with. They didn't start hunting these things in, like, the 1890s. They, they're that fucking big. Christ, it's still going past. Like, these things are endangered, too. They're big and endangered, and it's... They're, they're not even... They don't have any predators. We don't even hunt them. They just... They don't fuck as often as they should. Like, it's... They, they, we don't know if they can't hear shit over all the goddamn sonar we got going on, because, oh, we need the sonar! We gotta find shit! And the world's like, oh, I don't know, I can't tell where my fucking call's coming from, even though I'm the loudest goddamn thing on the planet. But no, they, they're just not reproducing as fast as they should. I mean, there's other shit, like PCB building up in their bodies and shit, that, that's polychlorinated biphenyl, not PCP. Oh my god, could you imagine one of these whales on PCP? Just, holy fuck, it'd just be tearing through land masses and shit. Oh my god, why are they so big? Why is the whale so big? 
I have no idea, Red. I have no idea. That was amazing. <laughs> it will keep on going by for the rest of the video to just let you know how big this whale is. Wow. And here it is, the blue whale, the big muscular whale. And you're riding it. It's still going? Yeah, it's still going. It's big. <laughs> so as Red said, the blue whale population is pretty low. It's very endangered. It was originally in the range of 275,000 individuals, which is a lot. But now it's much less. Look at this! It's still going! It's still fucking going! <laughs> By 1964, when a global ban had been placed on their hunting, uh, the population was only around 650 to 2,000 whales. So it went down to 0.09% of the original population. That's a major drop. It's been slowly recovering. It's worldwide thought to be around 5,000 to 12,000 whales now, which is up from the 5,000 in 1994, so... Still going. Still going. <laughs> so they're making their way slowly back into existence. You know? They're not going to collapse necessarily and disappear, but they're not recovering as fast as we hoped, really. That whale's trying to get away from you. No, it's just going its way that it goes. It kind of has a very small area that it patrols around here. Which kind of going to happen as a given because it's a big whale, as indicated. Yo, this whale, it's still going. <laughs> and because it's a big whale, it covers a big area. Interestingly enough, blue whales can live, we think, about as long as people can. So, you know, around 80 years, we think. It's kind of difficult to know for sure because we only started looking at this pretty recently. And looking at the state of the blue whales about 80 years ago, most of the whales that were alive 80 years ago died. So, it's kind of hard to make sure exactly how long they live. They could live a lot longer than we think. They could live a lot shorter than we think. Might end up they live 200 years or something. Who knows? Huh. Yo, whale update, um, it's, it's still going. Thank you for that, Red. <laughs> see. Just want to clear out a little bit more map before we go up again. Make sure we're not missing anything. I was wondering what you were doing. Though there really isn't too much in this general vicinity. Unfortunately, we're kind of near the corner edge of the map in the upper reach, and it kind of just ends after a point where you can't swim past it, and then there's just the beach wall, the island itself, kind of blocking your way. Huh. So they don't put too much out here. It's just kind of like, it ends. So, in any case, we found the whale we were looking for, and we found all four of the whales that Catherine wanted us to find in order to somehow divine where the whale god whale is. That's a lot of map. Pretty close to 100%. It's still going. So what are you going to do now, Catherine? Huh? We, we did your shit. Yes. Yep. She's gonna take a stab at the migratory path with a knife. She's gonna open up my handy dandy notebook. <laughs> nah, she's gonna put the map on a wall and literally take a stab at it. She's gonna just throw knives at it and then say, I bet it's here. That's where it is. See what sticks. What'd she do? She fucking shock all the penguins off the boat? <laughs> Maybe. It's like, party's over. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. They're making a mess. It's like, I ain't gonna clean this up <laughs> after you, penguins. Spoilers, whale's still going. 
And of course we have the location info, which doesn't matter because it's just saying, Hey, did you know that the blue whale can be found here? Yes, we had to find the blue whale to find this location, basically, so... A little too late. Yeah, a little late. Anyways, see you later, guys. God damn, it's a big whale!